With the new version of Steel Beast 4.3, one of the most anticipated new features is a playable T72 Bravo 3. This is, interestingly, uh, the first playable tank in Steel Beast that's able to fire ATGM. So we went ahead and loaded up the tutorial, and we're going to look at this real quick, both from a tank commander as well as gunner perspective. You can pause the video if you want to read all this text, but bottom line, we're going to fire some anti-tank guided missiles, AT-11 snipers, at some targets and see how that works. So to begin with, we're going to get in the tank itself. Press the home key, V, to activate the autoloader. And we're going to do this first engagement from the commander's position. To see what the gunner's looking at, you actually have to rotate the commander's cupola all the way 360, or excuse me, 180 degrees in order to actually look at the uh, GPS site. Tank. And there we've got it. We're going to fire a uh, missile at them. Boy. Pretty simple commands. Just tell them to shoot, and they shoot. And there we go, they're automatically going to reload. Now, with uh, actually designating targets or doing a full override, you can do that as the TC within that station, so I'm going to do that. There's a uh, enemy vehicle. We're going to Lays. And what's cool here is I've actually got my hands completely off the controls and the automatic target tracking is now working, so uh, we'll fire. And we can go ahead and reload. Identify. And that should Identify. hit momentarily, and got him. Cool. All right, now we're going to switch to the gunner's position. Uh, again, very similar view. Fire. Enemy chopper in there. And what you can actually do, pressing the O key, you can lose the automatic tracking. Uh, we'll try to hit and see how it performs. A little bit more difficult, but that's fine. And got him. And then I'm going to use the uh, regular uh, primary site for the, uh, or I guess the upgrade for this once the next target appears. There it is. And with this Fire. one here, where the infrared site used to be, that's now the actual primary site for the gunner. So we'll shoot. What's kind of cool is you can see a little bit of the heat Fire. flare there. That's a new feature. And that's a very quick look at the uh, ATGM capabilities of the T-72 Bravo 3. Pretty simple. Hold, track, wait till it hits, and the automatic targeting system works pretty well overall. Uh, yeah, there we go. There's stats. Now, one of the key things to obviously take into account here is that you're going to have a longer average time to kill with an ATGM compared to... An actual conventional round that makes sense it's got to fly through the air a lot longer with that in mind however if you're looking at a target say five kilometers out where you can't realistically hit it with a sabo round an ATGM may be the way to go uh, depending on if they're stationary or if they're charging towards you if they are charging towards you realistically they could get within sabo range before your missile hits so something to consider Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll probably have another uh, T-72 B3 video up uh, later on, either today or tomorrow, kind of showcasing it more of a uh, tactical setting. And uh, happy beasting to you guys.